Hello, and uh, here's a, another random reading from the Tinfoil Library. Again, I went back to the book um, Liberation of the People, The Pathology of Power by Dr. Kempe. Social Pathology, page 125. Television dictates the philosophy of life that prevails today. Every few minutes a commercial entices the viewer to eat something, so much that eating has become the principal leisure activity in the United States. Saturday Night Wrestling, where deeply disturbed men attack each other as if in Roman arena, is designed to keep the people alienated. And on Sunday, television preachers harangue viewers, who have very little in the first place, into sending them money, only to expedite the work of those who retain economic power. Advertisements convince Americans that they live in the best, the richest, and the freest country in the world, a country that offers equal opportunity for all. The press clouds the minds of the American people with threats of what might occur if they betray the structure of their country as though that structure offered protection from all external danger. Such stratagem makes it easy for the press to exploit the people. And as the media is closely linked to the group that wields economic power, the human being is indoctrinated, indoctrinated to serve that group, which is like an enormous Lucifer that devours human beings without mercy or compassion. This situation is so terribly tragic because the people, shackled like prisoners, relinquish their will and turn to drugs as the pseudo-freedom, or sorry, turn to drugs as the only means of achieving some sort of inner freedom, albeit a pseudo-freedom. If this is the world center of drug addiction, it is because we are the unhappiest people in the world. Right here. That much is obvious. I believe that the greatest task that the American people face at the moment is to succeed in freeing themselves from socioeconomic power. Because politically speaking, Americans are still the freest people in the world. And this is the way that other people can be freed from the dominion of that same power which crushes them today. Save the world, America. Wake up. Anyway, there you go. Another random reading from the Tinfoil Library from uh, Liberation of the People, the Pathology of Power. Dr. Kempe, he's brilliant. Hope you're having a good day. Take care out there.